Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M221. I'm your host, Yandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can uh, sort the elements on our array in the M221. So let's go to the software. There we go. So uh, I'm going to start a new project. Okay. And what we need to do is to use this element, operation block. And we just need to use this function called sort array, this one, okay? Here, we just need to use a constant or a variable in order to define what do we want to do with the sorting, okay? So I am going to use percentage and the view um, zero, so zero. And here we just need to define the elements of the array. So here we just need to use percentage MD. I'm going to start for the 10. And then the amount of uh, variables that we want to use. As you can see it says float or double. So in this case, we need to use up to 10 elements to organize. So as soon as you execute this, it will do the trick. So if we go to the help, here, search, sort, array. Here you will find found information about solar array. So the first one is the direction, the percentage NW0. So if it's zero, it's not going to do anything at all. If it's a positive value, then it's going to be ascending. And then if it's a negative value, it's going to be descending order. Okay. So you can usually is do it in this way. Or we just assign, for example, like this. Instead of having that, a constant. So zero is not going to do anything. So we can try to do the following. So for example, M0 is going to be my enable. Uh, CMD enable. Yep. Then what I can do is define a percentage NW0 equal 0. Then I'm going to do anything at all. But if this value is 1, we can do the ascending order. And if it's 2, we can make descending order. So what you need to do is to change here the value. It's just a, a number positive value one. Uh, otherwise, if it's negative, we just assign the minus something. Then here we just do it like this. Okay. So now that we have this, we can test this out. So tools animation table. Uh, table array. So we got this. So I'm going to use the percentage M0 and I'm going to use the percentage NW0. Here, memory address, memory word, 0 is going to be uh, CMD sort or something, 0, nothing. One is going to be ascending to equal descending. Apply. So if we go again to the array and we simulate this, let's see what happens. Okay, and here we just need to define the MD10 from. Okay, so we can see this. So I'm going to use number two. Three, three, uh, forty-two, seventy-eight, and okay. So we got this information now. So play. So if I put this in true, there is no sorting at all. Okay, because I have this in zero. It's a fixed value. Now, if I do, for example, 
change this and the view zero to uh, to one if we're going to ascending mode. So it's going to be zero and all the values. There we go. Now if I press, if I change a value here, so I'm going to set uh, eight. It automatically change because this one is enabled. If I select this and I press eight again, it's not going to do anything until I press this enable. Now, if I go back to sorting and select these two uh, zero to do anything, nothing, I can specify it minus four and two. You can see there is no change until I put this back in one. Now, if I do the minus two to be uh, two to be equal to this sorting, it will execute this in order to be descending. So if I press the number two, we go to higher to the lower. Okay, so it's very easy to identify and make this uh, mix sorting. You just need to remember the first element for this function is how you want to organize the array, and the second one is the array itself. Okay, it worked for MD and also for MF for float. So um, thank you very much for for watching this video, and I see you on the next one. Thank you.